Right, ready? Yeah. Right, this is Joe Mor Morley, um, skills of sports coach, responsibilities and roles, um, Unit 5 sports coaching. There you go. In this presentation, I'll be speaking about four roles, responsibilities, and three skills. The roles I've chosen are trainer, educator, manager, and role model. Right. Trainer. A good coach would need to be a good trainer. Um, a good trainer is someone who is there to help you. Mm -hmm. Set your targets and to help you achieve your targets and goals in the sport you are taking part in. Training will help develop participants' abilities and find weaknesses in the areas to try and make their game play better. Freddie Roach has trained Manny Pacquiao to the best of his ability. Manny Pacquiao being the best pound for pound boxer in boxing. Yeah, so how will Freddie have coached or trained him? What would he have trained him in? What would he have done? Found weaknesses in like, areas of play, so his defence is weak, like, practice defence in sparring and stuff like that. Yeah, good. Um, Yep. One of the has also won many awards in boxing. Being an educator is a good role to have when coaching because you might need to explain different tactics and stuff like that. This would help develop participants to perform to the best of their ability, mm -hmm. educate their players on the style of play and tactics they will use in the game. You can also develop abilities if they're a good educator. Alex Ferguson has inspired many different ways of sport become the greatest players and then some of them are going to be managers. Manager. A good coach would have good managing skills. This is a vital role in most sports. A good manager would make sure all players are comfortable in what they are supposed to be doing in their positions of play and they would also know the guilty of their players. Mm -hmm. um, they would um, make right decisions at the right time and encourage their players at all times. Yeah, so what else would he have to manage then? So he's got to manage people, but what else has he got to manage? Keep track on time and spot yeah. training sessions. And training sessions, what about so like Ryan, who's footy academy coach, what would he have to manage on a game day? What will he have? Yeah, make sure people are there on Good, like yeah, good, right. Yeah, move on. Role model. Coaches become many role models in the elite level by the way they behave and conduct themselves. This is important because Someone who has achieved in the sport they play is a good role model. And a good role model is also someone who hasn't been in the media for five years as well. Mario Bell, sorry. Barry and Shane Green are good role models because they are now training an extra cricketer, Freddie Flintoff, who has won Paddy's first boxing fight and won some points. So why are, they, why are them two good role models then? Because they've took someone out of cricket and taught them in the boxing at an elite level. Yeah, so, so why would Flintoff pick them two? As good role models. Well, they've trained other boxers. Right, well, so they've trained other boxers. Why else could they be good role models? What about Barry McWigan? What's he done? Um, I don't know that. Well, was, was, he, uh, was he a nobody or was he a pro fighter? Oh, pro. Right, so does that make him a good role model? Yeah. Well, yeah, so yeah. Right. The three skills I've chosen today are problem solving, analysing, and organisation. Problem solving. Being a coach, problem solving can come into your uh, coaching quite a lot for many different reasons. Training sessions, matches, like areas where you get two trainers, like that. Also, enjoying game tactics might not be right, um, might be changing them in the game. Um, participants might not be as good as others, so they might have to encourage them more, or yeah. they might need more encouragement. Um, they might like, set up for training sessions or something. In a, might not have the area played itself for. Yeah, good. Analyzing. Analyzing forms is vital for managers um, as it shows oppositions, how they play, um, uh, well, you can judge players on their team and see what they're good at and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Um, they also need to analyze themselves, see what they're doing good in their sessions as well. Organization. Organization is a vital skill to have when being a manager. Know what equipment you need and facilities you've got during the time you're supposed to have them. Um, you can prepare for sessions when you've got them. And if you've got to have got stuff organised before people arrive at train sessions, then the session will go well and they'll get through everything they need to get through. 
Yeah, so what, so what have we got to organise then? So you've got equipment, facilities, what yeah, else? Like Kit. Making sure everything's ready for games, referees, stuff like that. Yeah, well about in a session then. So if I was delivering like a football session, what would I have to organise then? Um, like, well, make sure everyone's there, balls. Participants, yeah. What about the activities, what would I have to do? Um, well, make sure you've got guns. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, so what else would a coach need to look for? So they've got to do a risk assessment, what would they be checking? Well, if players have got anything maps on them or stuff like that, they've so, uh, taken into consideration. So all right, what about like a playing area, what would they have to look for? Well, make sure there's not like glass on pitch or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's like a risk assessment as well, what they have to do. All right. Equal opportunities. A coach should make sure all the participants have the same opportunities as each other. No matter if religion, race, sex, shouldn't matter to a coach when they are doing their sessions. Also, like, like the Olympics, they've got the tables as well, Paralympics now for people like that, mm-hmm. so kids, other people, so they can take part in sports now. Legal obligations. A coach must know a legal obligation. This is basically knowing that all people in the club have had their CRB checks and they know the area and the people that are in it are safe. Knowledge of a coaching environment. The coach does need good knowledge of coaching environment. Basically, just knowing what they need to be and what they need to do to be a coach. Not all good coaches will get their spot in their time. Mm-hmm. And they should also have good knowledge of the spot they are coaching. Which can help, like when, for example, if someone's doing sprinting and they've got the wrong technique, it's fine. Yeah, it would, yeah. Teach them a good technique. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a 